Hi, I'm David Kim from MyYogaWorks.com. We've teamed up with Be Fit for a fun yoga series that will get you ready for summer. I'm going to teach you a hardcore beach body yoga workout to strengthen your entire body and to reaffirm your intention for a healthier lifestyle. I'm with Natalie and I'm with Mark, and they're going to do this short sequence that you can do with us at home or the beach or wherever you are. So guys, start in child's pose, shift towards the front of your mat, and separate your knees a little bit wider than your hips as you pull your hips back towards your heels and rest your forehead on the ground. So anytime you need a break, this is a pose that you can come to, be sensitive if you have tender knees or lower back problems. You can come up onto all fours if you do. So after you've had a couple of breaths here, so really get that breath going smoothly and fully inhaling and exhaling, you'll shift onto all fours. So come onto all fours, guys. And bring your shoulders right above your wrists, hips right over your knees. We'll take a twist. With your next exhale, take your left arm underneath your right arm, coming onto your outer left shoulder. That's it. And if you have a sensitive neck, you might want to put a little more weight on the hand that's down on the ground. Take another full inhale here, and then let the exhale completely go so it becomes more passive. It also can be a nice stretch for your neck. And then with your next inhale, come back onto all fours. All right, and then with your exhale, take it right over to the second side, right arm underneath the left arm. That's it. And it's a little bit harder and twist sometimes to breathe, so really make sure you're taking a full inhale to the top of your chest and then exhaling, letting all the breath out. All right, and then with your next inhale, guys, come back onto all fours. Walk your hands slightly forward of your shoulders, preparing for a first down dog. Tuck the toes under, lift the knees off the ground, and draw the hips up and back. All right, so sensitize yourself to how the backs of your legs are feeling, how the shoulders are feeling. You want to get a lot of length to the side body, so really lift the tops of the thighs. Press the thighs back, and then keep the forearms reaching away from the ground. Now, maintain that as you inhale, shift forward to your first plank pose, so top of a push-up. All right, so if your uh, hips are a little bit higher than your shoulders, walk the feet back. So I'm going to have Natalie walk her feet back just a little bit. So now there's a straighter line from her outer shoulder to her heels. And now every, both of you reach your chest forward, so keep your collarbones spread. All right, now maintain this slightly forward lift of your lower belly, and we'll come down to a dolphin plank pose on the forearm. So place your right elbow where your right hand is, your left elbow where your left hand is. The forearms are parallel like train tracks. If your feet aren't already hips distance apart, separate them about hips distance apart, maybe even just a smidgen wider. All right. And this is where it's going to get a little challenging. Lift your right foot off the ground just an inch. Notice if you sink your belly. Pull your belly forward. Now I'm going to have Mark lower his knees to the ground to do this. So Mark, lower the knees, and then now lift the right leg up. Keep the toes tucked under. Reach the left arm forward if you can. Good. Keep breathing. You've really got to hug that right shoulder, the supporting one, in. Place the elbow down, left elbow on the ground. Place the right foot down. All right, keep breathing. We're coming right back up to plank pose. Place your right hand where your right elbow is, left hand where your left elbow is. Knees come off the ground if you're modifying. And then we're going to lean onto the right arm for full side plank pose now. So turn onto the right hand. Stack the feet on top of each other. Make your back body really long towards the heels, the same forward lift of your lower belly up towards your chest. So keep those front ribs soft. A back bend might make you tip forward or backwards. And then both hands come back to the ground to plank pose. Good job, you guys. Exhale all the way back to down dog. Pull the hips up and back. That's it. Check in with your breath. All right, so this is our little resting pose before we do the second side. Inhale, come forward to plank pose. All right, place the left elbow where the left hand is, the right elbow where the right hand is. Mark, you can lower the knee. So if you're modifying, do what Mark's doing. He's lowering the knees to the ground. Lift your left leg off the ground. And even if you're modifying, you can straighten and lift that left leg up. And then once you're steady, keep those shoulders drawing away from the ears and now stretch the right arm forward. All right, this is all your core muscles working to stabilize you. It's like a game of Jenga with your body. Take one more breath. Relax your eyes. Place the right elbow and forearm on the ground. Lower the left leg. Good. 
Come back up to plank pose, full plank. Left hand where the left elbow is, right hand where the right elbow is, straighten the legs, and then lean onto your left hand, right into second side, Vashistasana. Good, reach through the heels as if you're standing on a, a diagonal wall with your feet, and then take the bottom armpit towards the front of your mat. Yeah, so the bicep of the bottom arm slightly towards the front of the mat, and then with your exhale, both hands come down to the ground. You guys are superstars, great job. With your exhale, pull your hips up and back into your down dog. And when those hips pull back, the entire back of your thigh widens towards the back of the mat. End of your exhale, bend your knees, look between your hands, and either hop through to a seated position or lower the knees to the ground, and bring your legs forward, and then lie down on your backs. All right, take a breath there and then hug the knees in towards your chest. All right, knees towards the chest, interlace your hands behind your head, straighten the legs up towards the ceiling. Take a full inhale on your back, keep the legs straight up, and then with your exhale, twist your elbows towards your right leg and lower the left leg until it almost touches the ground. And then inhale both legs up as the head comes back to the ground. Good, exhale to the left leg, lower the right until it almost touches the ground. Inhale to center, lift both legs up. Two more cycles. Exhale to the right leg. Inhale up to center. Good. Exhale to the left. Pin the belly down, lift the chest higher, and then inhale both legs up to center. Last round. Exhale, twist towards the right. Lower the left. Nice, guys. Inhale, last side. Come to center. Exhale to the left. Inhale both legs up. Release the head down and then bend your knees, place your feet on the ground. All right, take a moment, separate your feet hips distance apart. Bring your arms straight alongside the mat, and then actually grip the sides of your mat. So curl your fingers underneath the sides of the mat, and then press your outer shoulders down towards the ground. And then from here, inhale, lift your hips off the ground. Once the hips are off the ground, snuggle the shoulders underneath you a little bit more so you're fully supported under, uh, with the backs of the shoulders and keep those knees parallel the, with the feet, the shins parallel. With your next inhale, bend your right knee towards your chest and then straighten the right leg up towards the ceiling. Take a full inhale, lift the back ribs and then with your exhale, lower the hips all the way to the ground until they touch. Good, and then inhale, lift the hips up. Keep that leg straight. Exhale, lower the hips all the way down. Full inhale, lift the hips up again. Good, last one. Exhale, lower the hips down, keep the throat relaxed. Inhale, come all the way back up as if you're trying to press that right foot through the ceiling and then place the right foot on the mat. Keep the hips lifted. Inhale, bend the left knee towards your chest, straighten the left leg up towards the ceiling, and then exhale, lower the hips all the way down. This is strengthening the glutes of your standing leg. Inhale, come all the way up, and then with your exhale, slowly lower. Good, one more. Inhale, lift all the way up. Exhale, lower all the way down. Last time coming up, inhale, come all the way up and then place the left foot on the ground. Take a breath there, keep the hips lifted, press down through your inner heels and then exhale, slowly come all the way down. Nice job, guys. Come into a happy baby pose, hold the outer edges of your feet. Just rock a little bit side to side for a couple of breaths. All right, and then hug the knees towards your chest. Bring the right ankle above your left knee for thread the needle. So flex your right foot, place it above the left knee, hold the back of your left thigh. All right, so take this gentle hip opener. You can nudge your right forearm into that right thigh, the one that's out to the side. Just get a little bit more of that hip to open. And then release the left thigh. If you're doing this at home, you can hold longer. And then just slide the right knee all the way over the left knee and then lower the knees all the way over towards the left. All right, so after doing back bends, this will just uh, unwind the spine a little bit. And then inhale, come all the way back up, uncross the legs. Let's take thread the needle on the second side. Cross the left ankle above the right knee. Flex the left foot as you grab the back of the right thigh. All right, keep breathing here. After you've had a couple of breaths there, you just release the back of the right thigh, slide the left knee over the right knee, and then lower the legs over towards the right. All 
right, so again, this is a twist. Make sure you're taking a full inhale, exhale completely. And after you've had a couple of breaths here, inhale, bring the knees back up to center. Uncross the legs, give the knees a hug, and then slide your legs out straight into Shavasana. So this is a great workout for your whole body. You can do this at home, you can do this at a beach, you can add it to a longer yoga sequence wherever and whenever you need an extra energy boost. Hi, I'm David Kim. And I'm Jesse Shine, and we're both My Yoga Works teachers, and we've partnered with Lionsgate Be Fit to bring you this summer yoga series. The Summer Ready Yoga series includes four 10-minute sequences. Three of the sequences are focused on a specific body part, and the last one is a total body practice. 